Hello Booktube, this is my February TBR. I don't always make February TBRs, but um, I have a number of books that I would like to get to in February already settled on, so I thought it would be interesting to make a TBR to discuss uh, these books. Um, I'm going to start with nonfiction. So the first book I'm going to read in February is Marie Antoinette, The Journey by Antonia Frazier. Um, this is a biography of Marie Antoinette, and I'm reading it for the um, Steve Tiberius Donahue Book Club. Um, this is the February pick for that. Um, so the Steve Tiberius Donahue, or the STD Book Club, is a book club curated by Steve Donahue, um, that started last year, and I think it alternates between fiction and nonfiction um, every month, although it kind of got a little bit hit or miss towards the end of last year. But I uh, participated twice in the selections last year, um, and I thought um, to uh, participate um, this year as well for at least the books that are interesting to me. So first up is um, Marie Antoinette, The Journey by Antonia Frazier. Um, sticking with nonfiction, um, I have two books um, picked out for Historothon 2024. Historothon is a year-long um, booktube, booktube event in which participants read historical nonfiction over the course of the year. It's broken down into oh, four quarters um, of three months that has a set um, historical period attached to it. Um, so we're in the first quarter, um, January through March, and the period is to 500 CE or AD, whichever suffix you wish to put at the end of the date. Um, so for this uh, month's Historathon readings, I'm going with A Persian Fire by Tom Holland, the historian, not the actor. Um, this is a history of the um, Greeks' conflicts with the Persians. And I'm also going to be reading uh, Lives of the Ancient Egyptians by Toby Wilkinson. So this is a brief little group biography of a number of ancient Egyptians. Um, my original plan was to read this in March, but I'm going to read two big works of history for March of the Mammoths. So I'm going to go ahead and move this one to February. Um, moving on to fiction, I'm going to be reading Erasure by Percival Everett. Uh, this is a novel about a um, writer whose work is highly respected, but little read, who, um, growing jealous of a more successful writer, um, basically writes a novel in this rival writer's style, and it becomes a hit. Um... I've read um, The Trees by Percival Everett last year, and I didn't get on with it. And I wanted to have another go at him. I've heard a number of wonderful things about Percival Everett's work, so I really need to give him a second sh chance, or second go. So I settled on Erasure after a number of uh, booktubers recommended this one. Largely because a film adaptation called American Fiction has just come out. Moving on to poetry, there are some slim volumes of poetry I would like to get to and a collected um, poetry. So the slim volumes of poetry are Vanishing Point by Kimberly Rays, a collection that I just picked up from the University of Chicago Press. Uh, Suddenly We by Evie Shockley. This is her latest, um, and Evie Shockley is one of my favorite poets. I 
am kind of tempted to read all of her work, but I've already done um, a number of those the last few uh, weeks, and I think I kind of need to take a break from that. More this weekly reads. And The Mummy Eaters by Sherry Shinoda. And I'm hoping to get to the collected poetry of Nikki Giovanni, which I've had for a number of years, and I read when I first picked it up, but I haven't reread it, and I really want to reread Nikki Giovanni's poetry, so. Get planning on getting to that. Now, I was thinking of including some fantasy in this TBR, but the more I thought about it, the more no, I don't. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I won't have any fantasy, but I do have some manga. Now, usually when I think about my month's reading, um, I don't always plan for my manga reading. Normally, I read manga when I have a day or a weekend free and I just, I'm in the mood for it. I don't really consciously plan for it and I need to break out of that because over the last few years, manga has been one of the absolute bright spots of my reading. Um, and so I need to really take that into account. So... I'm planning on reading the first three omnibus editions of um, One Piece by Aitoro Oda. Um, so it'll be volumes one through nine. Um, one Piece is one of the most popular manga in the world, and it has been for over 20 years. It's about a young man named Monkey D. Luffy, who, inspired by a pirate named Red-Haired Shanks desires to find the One Piece and become King of the Pirates. Although it's questionable whether or not Luffy ever actually knows what a pirate's supposed to be. <laughs> but anyway, um, but he builds a crew and he goes on adventures, um, gaining renown, making friends, making enemies, and just having a good time. Um, I like One Piece, although I never, I'm also a bit ambivalent, and I'm hoping rereading this first omnibus, and then um, omnibuses two and three will really settle my thoughts on One Piece, and whether I want to devote time to collecting the series or not, um, which is hopefully will be the former. Hopefully I will love One Piece and want to collect the series, even though the form that I'm picking may be a bit more of a pain in the rear end than picking up the individual volumes. I'm also hoping to read as much of Alice in Borderland by Hero Asso as I can. Now, I currently only have one volume. Well, this is an omnibus edition as well, but I only have one volume. Um, but that's going to be changing today and tomorrow. Um, there will be a late book haul today and then a, another book haul tomorrow and possibly a third book haul this week, uh, depending when um, my the second half of my um, Blackwell's order comes in. But Alice in Borderland is a series by Hero Asso which is about a group of people who are trapped in what appears to be an abandoned Tokyo. And these um, people are forced to play life and death games, where if you win, you survive for a few more days, and if you lose, you die. Um, I read this first volume a few months ago and really enjoyed it, and I am super excited to read more of Alice in Borderland. And finally, I would like to have it out with Orient by Shinobu Otaka. Um, I currently have six volumes of Orient. Um, Orient is Shinobu Otaka's most recent series or her current series. 
it's about an alternate Sengoku period at Japan in which um, demons have conquered Japan and the only people resisting them are surviving bands of samurai. Um, the main character, um, Musashi and um, Sanjiro, is that his name? Oh no, Kujiro. Um, wish to become samurai, although the hard realities of their lives make it seemingly impossible, but dreams never die. Um, so hopefully I will get around to Orient and really enjoy it, because I am loving her um, earlier series, um, Magi the Labyrinth of Magic, of which I'm also planning on reading the whole of the series sometime this year, if I can find volume 27, I still need volume 27. But anyway, so that's my reading plan for February, although I can add more books, I can take books away, depending on how things go. For me, for example, I was thinking of adding these two, but I decided against it because I don't... <clears throat> I'm going to talk a bit more about this, I think, in my writing video, because I'm wanting to do a writing video today as well, and um, address something that I forgot my last writing video. So, in your book tube, I'm going to go ahead and sign up for now and start getting this uploaded and these books sorted um, before I make that video. And then hopefully I can also do a third video, and then a fourth later this evening with a book haul. So anyway, booktube, until I see you next time, thank you, have a great afternoon, and stay safe.